what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a video of a woman who filmed herself and her brother caping for an old white man who was robbed by another black man. Now fam, let me say something straight out the gate. I can appreciate people who self-police their community, who hold their own accountable. I can appreciate that. But this woman in the video seemed like she was going out of her way for white approval. She kept on saying, this mother didn't rob this white man. Didn't rob this old white man. This ain't it. This ain't what we do. This, this is what we out here fighting for. This is what we fighting for. Like, what are you fighting with? You're fighting to cave for old white men who get robbed? Or are you fighting for the safety of your neighborhood to protect your neighborhood against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Because if that's the case, I'm with it. But it just seemed like to me that they were going above and beyond to show that, hey, look, look, look at us. We ain't like them. We ain't like the rest of them. Yes, the boss. Yes, the boss. But look at me, my boss. Uh, do, 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 get some of them old buttermilk biscuits. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, buttermilk biscuits. I want the syrup and the sauce. And the, 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 the. I can't rock with that, fam. Now, and I'm going to tell you something else, family. I can't help but look at an old white man and wonder, where was he? when Malcolm and Martin was getting rolled on? Where was he when the white man in his neighborhood was burning crosses, wearing the Klan hoods, throwing rocks at black folks, pushing black people out of the white communities, when Black people were boycotting. What side of the aisle was he on for the sit-ins? See, that's the type of stuff that I think about when I see old white men. And quite frankly, old white women also. What were they doing when all of this murder and mayhem was happening to black people? So, Damn, you know, just be patient with me for my lack of empathy in regards to this dude. Well, I'll just say not lack of empathy, but lack of benefit of doubt empathy. It just seems like to me, this chick, she sounded like a textbook mammy. So they went and got the dude all his money back and whatever the dude took from him. They gave it back. Here you go, sir. Here you go, sir. Here you go. This wrong what they did to this old white man. She just kept on making a point to say white man. This old white man, not just old man, but old white man. It's wrong what they did to this old white man. This old white man. I wonder... If I had to take a wild guess, I would probably guess correctly that that old white man has never caped for a black person, never went out of his way to stop a black person from getting beat down, being abused. Because you know, he's an old white man, so you know he's witnessed it. He has to have witnessed it. I wonder what his track record is in humanity, civil rights, equality, 
social equity? I would like to know. Watching that dude and his sister, I'm just thinking, I wonder have they ever confronted a drug dealer in the hood with that amount of venom? Dude was like, I'll whoop your ass, I'll, I'll, I'll do this and do this to you. Get a man his money back. You know, I'll whoop your ass for lying. I wonder have he ever approached one of the killers in his community and checked them? I wonder has he ever checked a gang member like that in his community? Or any black person that was a detriment to the community, that was doing something illegal in the community. I wonder, did he have that same energy when he saw them getting out of pocket, bringing the neighborhood down, making black folks look bad? I wonder. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check out yourself. This, what can I talk, call it? This epic buck dancing. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?